Few people outside of this region have even heard of chicken bog. This dish is a hallmark of this area. Chicken bog is native to South Carolina and it's a really important dish. It's a relatively simple dish. Chicken and rice and mostly all the time sausage. What people add in really tells you a little bit about their personality. People in this part of South Carolina have made chicken bog for hundreds of years. It's kind of like recipes that are passed down from generation to generation. There are many variations of the dish and it remains a regular part of the diet of many people. And it's also cool that people still cook it and they make like contemporary renditions of it, so it's still a relevant dish. Chicken bog is the subject of the most recent project of Coastal Carolina University's Athenaeum Press. A lot of people are moving here and they're like, well, you know, what is chicken bog? And that's usually one of their first questions when they see it on a particular menu. With so much curiosity about chicken bog, the student-driven publishing lab took on the challenge of telling its story. The opportunity to work on something like this through the school was really exciting for me. The Athenaeum Press focused its effort on discovering chicken bog's place on contemporary tables instead of treating it as a relic of the past. The result is a box set called A Little Chicken and Rice. It contains a booklet, a recipe card, and some of the ingredients needed to actually cook the dish. We call it a chicken bog kit. It's a kind of primer for the most famous unknown dish of South Carolina. Chicken bog has a lot of different forms, and this book was kind of a way to record those forms and tell the cook's stories and the story behind chicken bog and how it brings people together. In addition to the kit, students produced a short video showing, among other things, a variety of cooks from throughout the region tending to their pots of chicken bog. Through what the concoction is today, lines can be drawn to the past. You can really mark the history of this area through chicken bog. After months of work, the Athenaeum Press recently unveiled the project. Today, uh, we're launching our project on chicken bog, and we're super excited about this. During the presentation, students spoke of a little chicken and rice. Essentially, what chicken bog is, is a rice and chicken dish, and what you put in it is what you have. Sisters Gray and Katina Hope Eckert told of their involvement with the design and look of the material. It tastes a lot like chicken and rice. Um, one of the biggest steps in the design process to kind of retain chicken bogs kind of historic feeling, that homemade rustic feeling, was to include illustrations. So I painted and I uh, drew everything in the book. So like the carrots and like the chicken and the bowls and stuff. This treatment of chicken bog is just the latest in a growing catalog for the press. They've been doing terrific work in the community telling the stories of this region. A little chicken and rice does cover new territory. This is our first venture into food and food history. Whatever the project, working with the Athenaeum Press can be a great educational experience. It helps me kind of gain exposure and then also like working with other people. And I still have a lot of professional experience to gain, but I've gained a lot just from learning how to delegate and work within a team. As for a little chicken and rice, it is now for sale at a price of $20. Just in time for the holidays and it makes a fabulous Christmas present and or holiday present.